Good morning, my friends. It's Friday, June 4th, and I'm here with you at the rising of the sun, Kate. One of my cats is eating her breakfast. The other is outside. And I have with me this beautiful cross to help me pray in the summer months. I just heard the first bird sing this morning. In the book of Deuteronomy today, we have um, we, what scholars believe is the first ancient liturgy of the Torah. In seminary, they made us memorize part of it. Uh, the chapter, chapter 26 in the book of Deuteronomy begins by saying, when you farm, when the crops come in, take the first fruits of your labor and put them in a basket bring them to the place of worship, place them in front of the altar and say, a wandering Aramean was my ancestor and he went down into Egypt and there he worked very hard and was his people were enslaved and you, Lord, you saved us. Basically, they say, bring a portion of what you have earned bring something to thank and offer to God, give it away and tell the story. Tell the story of how you've come to this place and thank God. This passage, this sort of summary of the plot of the Torah, the story of the ancient people um, is brief and beautiful. And this, Liturgy is the ancestor of the Holy Eucharist, the thanksgiving. The simple fact of giving from the fruits of your labor to God and saying thank you. That's it. Worship is fundamentally such a simple thing. It's just remembering that everything you have comes from God, that you wouldn't be able to earn a living, take a breath, till the soil, spend time with your friends, get through the week, if it weren't for God. So first thing on the first day of the week, we Christians wake up and we walk to the church and we give and we say thank you. And it puts us into right relationship with God. It starts your week off right. It may not be much of an experience that week, worshiping. You may think, ah, I'm doing this because it's something that I said I would do. It's a, dif it's a discipline. But you set off on the right path, remembering who you are, remembering who God is, remembering that what you own doesn't belong to you, but is a gift to you, and saying thank you. Liturgy is fundamentally so simple, so primal. It helps us remember who we are. And without it, we become all self-absorbed. It's essential, absolutely essential, that you learn to give, that you learn to tell the story of who you are in relationship to God, the history of your people. And it is essential to say thank you. The word Eucharist means thanksgiving. Let us pray. Almighty God, you have brought us in safety to this day and without you, we could do nothing. You give us breath. You give us heartbeat. You give us the workings of our minds and all that flows to us flows back to you. Thank you for our lives. Help us to remember that we exist only because of your grace. Help us to practice worship 
to practice giving, to practice saying thank you so that our gratitude may grow and that our awareness of your presence may grow. Bind us together, Lord, as a community of faith that we may serve you and love you in this life. Lord, we ask you to bless those who are sick, particularly Bill. We ask you to bless those who are dying, Becky. Bless those who are mourning or in need. Comfort the lonely, Lord. Blanket this earth with your presence and your peace and the gift of your healing grace. This we pray in the name of Jesus, your son. Amen. God bless you. Have a great day.